Hey Team YouTube, today we're going to be using a special strut tool for struts on a 1995 Pontiac Grand Prix. This requires a special tool because General Motors was trying something different and I could not find a video on YouTube that showed everything you need to do. So first things first, take the nuts off like you would any other strut and then take off the plate. Also make note of which way this thing faces. When in doubt, you can always look over at the other side of the car because you haven't touched it yet because you'll want to do one at a time, all right? Next up. Hey Team YouTube, got a 15 16 wrench held by my faithful assistant Beaker and a T50 Torx and we're gonna crack that center nut much like you would on any other kind of strut. Hey Team YouTube, so what I would recommend in this case is put a little silicone around this big rubber um, isolator and uh, that'll help ease it out. And uh, you know, silicone, silicone of course is non-degrading to most uh, types of rubber. I'd rather use silicone than any other, uh, you know, anything that's oil based. So uh, see you on the flip side after this is done. So Team YouTube, just gotta tell you, the, the way to get this out is to use whatever prying mechanisms uh, that you might have at the at the ready. Big screwdrivers, pry bars, you name it. I try not to, of course, I don't want to gouge the paint or anything, but keep in mind, your cover plate will cover this back up. So if you pull a little mixer in this thing, it won't show. So, all right, next. All right. So here is a little uh, notch or feature on the, uh, the rubber boot. And you should see that matches up with the notch right here. It'll be real obvious if you're doing this job. So, and here we are, we finally exposed the strut. Hey Team YouTube, so down in the strut, there is some debris. That is uh, part of a, a, what they call, I guess, a jounce bumper. But the more important thing is, if you can see, and we'll of course get a better picture of it later, there is a metal fitting down there with the threads that holds the strut cartridge in uh, the uh, the suspension here on the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and pull that out and give a look-see. Hey Team YouTube. So, what comes in the box with your replacement strut? You get a uh, nylock nut, you get a lock washer, you get a fancy fitting, which we'll talk about in a minute, and you get a, uh, this is a KYB unit, been real happy with the product I've gotten from them over the years. Mr. Focus is not happy. Oh, by the way, look at that motor. Look at that. You can't maybe tell from the video. This is a Pontiac blue. It's like it's like sky blue mixed with some silver. And that's part of this whole fun project vehicle is we painted the motor piece by piece, putting it back in. Let's see how the faithful assistant beaker is going here, getting some of those kind of broken up foam pieces out of the hole there. I think we've already gotten a couple pieces out. Well, I don't know what we got. Either way, we'll keep at it. Hey Team YouTube, let's just talk about the tool real quick. When you want to buy one of these GM10 strut replacement tools, you get a tube with a half inch uh, square adapter, perfectly for a, a larger size ratchet, and you get a, a, a couple of uh, indents on this end. Of course, that goes with the tool where you can see it lines up and you have two options. You either have the, the, the three pin option or the four pin option. And to loosen what we've got in the car, you do like this and then you unthread it, twist it out. So we'll hopefully try to demonstrate that here in just a moment. Hey Team YouTube, so what tool am I using? This is the WA500 made by blue point it says do not use impact and it also says wear safety goggles and galoshes no i'm kidding about the galoshes part okay team youtube so there is the tool just drop it in drop this part on it and then so now we know our pins are locked onto the collar on the top of that strut let's get it taken off all right so we started with the tool and a, an 18 inch breaker bar and now Faithful Assistant Beaker is using uh, a, a fine technique and a ratchet to go ahead and pull it off the last couple of turns. So, 
we'll be back. So Team YouTube, down at the bottom of the, the, this cylinder where the strut is, it may be hard to see, but they say as a recommendation in the Haynes Manual to check to see if there is oil that has leaked out of your strut. You know two things from this. That a, the strut is bad, and B, you need to clean up that oil. Fortunately, we have the engineering rag of science. We're going to stuff down the hole and swab it around and hopefully pull it back out with the uh, full of oil. See you on the flip side. Okay, Team YouTube, the replacement strut just literally gets put down into the cylindrical hole. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put everything back together. I'm going to use the replacement uh, cap here with the threads. I put just a tiny amount of anti-seize on it just to kind of help thread it on. Now, what you may notice is that the uh, side here of the strut tower kind of thing, so you can kind of push the strut out of the way a little bit, and uh, we'll get that started and threaded by hand, and uh, keep on going here. Okay, Team YouTube, the only thing left is the lock nut. That's why I don't like doing things on camera, the fumble with the dang lock nut. And the... Nylock nut. Lock washer nylock nut. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna tighten these up. I believe that there is uh, a different size of wrench. Let's see what we have in the collection of wrenches. Well, that might be a 15 16th, but if for certain, it is a six millimeter uh, Allen wrench, as demonstrated by that. We'll tighten that down and then we're gonna put the cover back on. And the cover plate goes back on that, in some sense, holds that big uh, rubber isolator on because the isolator kind of started to creep back out uh, as we were tightening uh, the nut on the top of the strut. So here we go. So why is this cover thing here so thick? It's because it's structural. It holds that top of the strut down. So uh, my, just my last thought, we already got the other side done. Uh, General Motors has always been accused of making weird stuff, but you know, I gotta hand it to them. Sometimes they try stuff and it's like, we didn't have to jack this car up to change the uh, gas shocks on this car. It literally was all done from the top. It didn't take much, actually it took a lot less time than it would have if we had to pull the strut, compress the strength, springs, and done all that sort of stuff. So I, I commend General Motors for trying stuff. Obviously they went away from this, uh, because it is not present on other vehicles. And also, I would mention, do not attempt this job, I think, without one of these tools. I think it would be very difficult to get the level of torque needed to pull that nut off without something like this. So, have a great day, YouTube.